Ja. Good morning guys, it's Sunday, it is the 18th of March and I'm just up having coffee and today is a full day of high carb eating, it was requested and I just wanted to take you through what I eat on a higher carb day. So first things first, you will notice I have some bruising on my lips because I got some lip fillers done two days ago and they're a little bit bruised, so don't panic, it's not pen and I haven't been punched in the face. I just wanted bigger lips. As you can see, I got them done very subtly. I only got a half an ml. If you want any more details about it or any more details about lip fillers or anything, just hit me up in the comments below and I will answer any of your questions. But we'll get on with our full day of eating. So today, I made these yesterday. They're like cinnabons and they have like a cinnamon crunch on top. They have amazing macros. I'm gonna have one of these with a coffee for my breakfast. Coffee has about 70 ml of coconut almond milk in it and it's a decaf coffee. No sugar or sweetener added to it yet. Today we were meant to go into Manchester because I wanted to do some photos. Unfortunately though, it's snowing again, but it's meant to stop tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get into Manchester maybe Monday or Tuesday and get the photos that I want done. So right now, instead of being in my nice outfit that I planned on wearing today, I'm in my Gymshark loungewear. Update on my diet. I checked in with my coach yesterday. Last week I only lost a half a pound, which is fine. It's still on the way down and my average is still down a half pound, so I'm quite happy with that. And he's quite happy with my progress. I'm actually feeling really lean this week, really small, and feel like I'm getting really tighter and everything. So even though I didn't have a significant weight loss in the week, I still did feel a lot better. So this week we are going to drop it down a little bit more. So my macros are going to drop down by 20 carbs on my low carb days, but I'm only going to have four low carb days instead of five, and then I'll go into two higher carb days. So as I said in previous videos, that is a form of carb cycling and it can help with plateaus with weight loss. And we're just digging in deep right now just to get those extra pounds of fat off me in the next three weeks. So today I actually weighed in lighter than I did yesterday, even though yesterday was a high carb day. Normally I go up on the scales after a high carb day, but today I'm down 0.4 of a pound. So happy days, something must be working. So my weight today is 111.4 pounds. My stage weight goal is still to be 108 pounds. So I've got three and a half pounds to go, three weeks, and I'm pretty sure I'll get down to it, to be honest. Um, I think these next two carb cycles with the very low carb days will probably dial me in quite a lot. With my cardio, I am doing cardio on my low carb days, but none of my high carb days, because we want to just kind of soak in all the extra carbs on my higher carb days and not waste them on cardio. So on my lower carb days, I'm going to be doing 40 minutes of steady state cardio. Nothing too crazy. I've kind of built it up from a half hour, 35 minutes to 40 minutes. So it's still nothing crazy. It's not like hours on end of cardio. And it's just on the four days where I'm on my low carb days. I will do a quick physique update for you and some posing because I do need to start posing a lot more and just dialing that in as well to perfect my posing. I've got Margarita coming next week. So in the coming videos, I'll have Margarita. She's gonna help me with my posing. She's also making my bikini. Her bikinis are amazing. They are just like crazy bespoke bikinis and she's made me a beautiful one. So I've already seen pictures of it. So I'm really excited to get that. So I'm excited to have Margarita here next week. I'm gonna fire ahead and drink my coffee and have my little muffin and get Mr. Griffin up because I've made him a cup of tea. So I got angry at Lex earlier because my patience is at zero and I misinterpreted what he said. So to make it up to him, I'm making him a healthy white chocolate mocha. I use one of the options white chocolate sachets. I got some skimmed milk and coffee, all mixed together to make him a nice mocha to say sorry for being a grumpy puss. He accepted my peace offering and now we've made up. So now I can get off my day and feel a bit better because I don't like vlogging when I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a good mood now, because I made up with him. And it was just a stupid argument, because 
I'm feeling quite overwhelmed. I have a lot of work to do. Training, food, housework, editing videos, getting photos off. I just have a lot to do and I felt a bit overwhelmed and underappreciated and now I feel a lot better. So I can get on with my work. Today I am editing up my red velvet cupcake recipe. So that should be up. It should be up now on my cooking channel so go and try it because it is amazing and you can actually make it into a full cake if you want you just have to double up on the ingredients and you'd really impress people if you made this protein cake for them for easter since it's easter in two weeks first caffeinated coffee of the day and i've got 50 ml of the best of both skimmed milk mm. And then I have to decide what to have for breakfast. I find it very hard to decide what to eat on my high carb days because I want to make every carb worth it, especially when I'm facing into four quite low carb days when I have to make the best of them. I spent the morning editing my recipe video and I nearly have it ready to upload. And now I can enjoy some breakfast which is egg whites scrambled with some protein cheese i've got some mushrooms and spinach on the side a couple of pieces of bacon and some nimble bread with marmite and i'll probably have that with some mustard and ketchup and then for lex this actually looks really good i kind of wish i'd made myself one so it's protein toast that we get from muscle food and then i've got some bacon underneath you can't really see it but then there's baked beans reduced sugar and salt baked beans that i get from asda and then the high protein cheese that i get from muscle food as well so that is an epic looking breakfast a little bit jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Got coffee and 56 grams of fat-free milk. And I'm gonna try one of these limited edition Mars extra chocolate protein bars that I got from Muscle Food. And they have 4.2 grams of fat, oh, that's very good. 22 grams of carbs and 18 grams of protein. Give it a go. I'm currently stood in my kitchen, in my heels, trying to break them in eaten I chicken breast. This is normal behaviour, right? Completely normal. I got the dogs these like special dog biscuits and they actually look really really good. I'm so tempted to eat them because they look like Oreos. <sighs> you lucky lucky doggies. Do you want your treats? Your characterization of approximately 171 different men is a few. So this is me three weeks out. I feel like I look quite lean. I'm starting to see like just little veins coming out of my tummy and I know that when I step on stage I do have a vascular abs. You can see it in my upper body now as well that I'm starting to get the striations here and veins in my shoulders. My back is looking quite lean obviously the abs are coming out more you can see as well my implants are starting to show and ripple a little bit more because obviously without the fat encapsulating them 
they do become more prominent. Someone commented on one of my last videos asking about implants. I'm not gonna do a full video on it, but obviously if you get implants because you have no fat there, because that's what your breast tissue is, it's fat. So when you lose fat when you diet, it is in the industry where a lot of the bikini girls will get implants. I have competed without implants and I've competed with implants. I've worn this bikini before without implants and I literally just had double padding put in and it looked no different on me. You do not get marked on your boobs. But for me, it was that I had quite large breasts before I lost weight and before I started training. So when I lost the weight, I lost it so quickly. Like within six months, I lost a lot of weight and I lost all the fat from my breasts, but the skin was still there and it was not tightening in. The rest of my body, the skin was tightening in, but around here, it was literally, you could just pull it out. It was like, like anyone who's breastfed, you'll know that you just got this loose skin. So when they put the implant in, it literally just popped in and there was no pain from stretching of skin that a lot of girls who are flat chested get. I didn't have any of that kind of pain. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. Honestly, I'd like to go down a size. I find them a little bit too big. I feel like this one isn't in place properly. So if I'm not wearing um, a supportive bra or a supportive top, you can see the ripple of the implant. That does bother me and at some point I will have to get them changed. I probably will never get them fully taken out because I will always have the excess skin there but I may go down in size maybe by a cup and I may go for a different shape next time. These are just simply um, circular regular breast implants. They're not the teardrop ones because the way my breast sat I didn't need the teardrop ones. If you have no chest tissue at all and you have tight skin they will maybe recommend that you get the teardrop ones just for a more natural finish but everyone is different like every person when you go for your consultation which is completely free they should not charge you for your consultation they will give you a a selection of choice and they will recommend the right size for you and for your height and for your build because obviously I'm quite small around my rib section so I actually couldn't go for any bigger this is the biggest size I could go for for a more natural look because otherwise they would have been sticking out the side mine are over the muscle as opposed to under the muscle because at the time I was training chest and I had quite a developed chest muscle here so they said it would be quite an extensive and more painful procedure for me to get it under under the muscle but i feel that if i got them done next time i may get them done under the muscle when you get breast implants they range in prices as well depending on where you go and which ones you go for they can range from anything from about three thousand up to about ten thousand pounds depending on what you're looking for i didn't have to get any uplift or anything done it was a simple straightforward procedure but sometimes if you have if you're going from a big size down to a small size, I know I have friends who've had quite large chests and they've had a reduction followed by an implant put in and that is quite a large procedure. It's going to be more expensive. You will have to get it tailored for you and for what you are looking for personally and if you go to a good surgeon, they will recommend it. The main thing is that after I got mine done, I moved to the UK, I got them done in Ireland and I feel like if I had stayed in Ireland, I may have gone back and gotten them fixed because I feel like this one definitely isn't right. And that is always an option, but it is another surgery and you will not be able to get a sick cert for this because it is a personal choice. Unless you are getting it done under the NHS, you will have to take annual leave for the procedure, you won't be able to take sick leave. They cannot certify you off for this procedure. Usually you cannot train upper body for about six weeks. You can do cardio, you can do legs to a certain extent, but honestly, take the recovery time. I feel that if you push yourself, you are damaging your own recovery and in the long term, it will affect how your breasts will look. So back to my full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed that little boob talk and my physique update. I'm getting there slowly but surely. I feel like I've broken in the shoes now as well. That was a good idea. I did do the hairdryer method with the socks and they've just molded to my foot perfectly now. So I feel like they are ready for stage action now. Three weeks guys, three 
Wait. So we have an afternoon snack. I've got three of these corn thins and it has about 15 grams of Tesco's smooth almond butter and 10 grams of my blueberry jam. And then I've got my third and final caffeinated coffee of the day. Got a Bailey and a Roxy. Stalker. And I'm still breaking in my shoes. This is my final snack before I have dinner. I've gotten through a litre and a half of water, but I need to get through another litre and a half. So I'm gonna do this for a litre. I know it's sparkling water, but it's still water. And I'm gonna do these kettle bites that have been recommended by one of my subscribers. And I haven't tried this flavour yet, so the maple barbecue. So it is dinner time and I've just been cooking up some simple food. I'm getting my carbs in, but I want to get high nutritional content rather than just opting for treats and stuff which i have kind of been doing on my high carb days i'm trying to get in some good quality carbs so extra sweet potato extra veggies one of my favorite things right now to eat and i eat this like every day on my low carb days as well is just simply oven bake some pak choy and it makes it mm. it's so tasty I just simply spray it in some of the locale spray and season it and then some asparagus again just lightly season it sometimes I add some parmesan just to add some flavor and it just kind of goes all yummy and I just put it all in the oven everything just goes in the oven together and it's really easy so I've got my chicken still in the oven sweet potato still in the oven and I'm gonna have that now I've got some Brussels sprouts heating up in the microwave I kind of batch cook a lot of Brussels sprouts and then I add them in I know it's a lot of green vegetables but it bulks out my meals on my low carb days and then on my high carb days that's my sprouts on my high carb days then it just makes me feel good and just get all the nutrients and the fiber in keeping it healthy even though i've still got abs i've got the abs so here we have some chicken sweet potato that i kind of just sliced up and baked we've got the pak choy asparagus some brussels sprouts and i'm going to have a little bit of mayonnaise on the side it's the lighter than light it has really good macros so per 100 it's only 9.3 grams carbs and 2.9 grams of fat and i'm not going to be having 100 final meal of the day and i have a little selection just to hit my macros before i head into my low carb day tomorrow i've got a praline options hot chocolate with some skimmed milk topped with some of these sugar-free marshmallows that i get from muscle food I've got a grenade bar, the chocolate chip cookie dough, and I have an Activia grain and nut yogurt, which I love because of the muesli texture. I'm going to leave the vlog here. It's Sunday, Lex is home. We'll probably just watch a movie now and just relax for the evening. I'll try and edit this video and get it up for you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this vlog about lip injections about boobs about competing about higher carb days anything like that i do stress that my higher carb days are not extremely high they are not even bringing me up to maintenance right now but i am in an extreme deficit for a competition this is not something that i would normally recommend for someone who is just trying to lose weight this is a very aggressive diet right now but after my competition, we'll be bringing it into a reverse diet to improve my metabolism, bring me out of this and do it with minimal fat gain. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos in this competition prep. We've got three weeks to go, guys. Three weeks. Love you guys. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up our damn hands until they turn to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.